You've probably seen AI tools that can turn text into images and even videos. But what if I told you that you can turn text or a photo into a full 3D model in less than a minute? You can then use After Effects to blend it in with your video and that's gonna set you apart from every video editor. Seriously, if you're gonna learn this skill, you will go up a few levels. First, head over to Meshi.ai. Right here on the homepage, you can see all these 3D objects generated by other people. It's a community-driven content library and you can download them and use them as well. Meshi AI is the global leader in AI-powered 3D modeling, with over 20 million models created and counting. These are also remixable, but I'll show you that later. The best thing is, if you found one you like, you can choose which format you want it. This allows you to import a file in platforms like Unreal Engine or Blender, and in our case, we can choose the object file, and now we can import it straight into After Effects. You can do some really cool stuff with this, as you can see as long as you have After Effects, but we'll come back to this. First, I want to show you the true power of Meshi AI. You can generate your own 3D models. To do that, we're going to choose Text to 3D. As you can see, you can also choose Image to 3D, AI Texturing, and even Text to Image. Now, once we're in the generator, you will see the prompting box right here. This is where you can describe what you want. Let's try and generate a robot dog. Typing a realistic tactical robot dog, matte metal finish, armored plate, visible hydraulics, infrared cameras for eyes, rugged and utilitarian design used for military or rescue missions. I came up with that prompt entirely myself. There you go. You can now choose an AI model and a usage license. Then click on generate and let it do its thing. This thing is the fastest 3D model generator you'll find. And there you go. Meshi just gave you four awesome AI generated 3D models and you can choose which one you like most. I think I love the first one. So just click it and then we're gonna generate a texture as well. Make sure it's set to yes and then click on confirm. And there we have it, isn't she beautiful? By the way, on top you can play around with some lighting options so you can preview it what it would look like if you'd cast light on it. But now we're gonna download it real quick. For After Effects, choose the object file and then click download. All you need to do now is drag your object file into After Effects. It's that easy. If you want, you can edit and enhance your textures even more. This is a row Robot I'm working on. Well, you can just click on the AI texture editing button. Now you can draw where you want to edit the texture and then type in a prompt. For example, add glowing buttons. Now let it do its thing and there you go. You can choose from different versions. This one is perfect. Now before I will show you how to merge it in your video, you must know that you can generate super realistic textures with Meshi 5. You'll get cleaner albedo maps, better material layers and near photorealistic surfaces. The stuff you generate is productive ready, ideal for creatures, rocks or statues. Meshi 5 delivers rich geometry and natural forms that most tools struggle with. Alright, now let me show you how to use one of Meshi's 3D objects in After Effects. First, select your clip to camera track it, then go to the tracker panel and click on track camera. In a few seconds, these tracking points will appear. Find one on your tracking surface, right click and choose create solid and camera. That way you can check if the solid is perfectly tracked to your video. Next, drag the robot dock from Meshi AI to the timeline and expand the properties of your track solid. Then go to transform and copy the position property. Now head over to the robot dock and paste the position data on the position property of the 3D object. Now the 3D object will stick to your surface too. And now it's time to create some shadows. To do that, expand the track solid material options. In here, click on accept shadows and set it to only. That way it won't show the solid, but it will show the shadows. For the shadows to show, we need some light. So right click in the timeline, go to new and then click light. Make sure it's set to environment light and make sure cast shadows is enabled. Then click on OK. Play around with the X and Y rotation properties to match the shadow direction of your video. Then play around with the intensity and shadow darkness. If you want, you can even add a tint to your shadow to match it even more. And there you go. You now have a real robot dog in your videos. Now let's get back to Meshi because I found this beautiful mushroom house and I want to know what prompt he used. To find out, you can click on the Remix button and there you go. You can now adjust the prompt or add something you like. For example, a cute chimney. Then click on Generate again and voila, that looks beautiful. Let me give it a texture and oh my, look at that how beautiful. It's ready to use however you want. By the way, Meshi AI also has an advanced rigging system built in. That way you can animate 3D models with a functional skeleton system and you can choose from so many different animations. It's awesome. 
awesome and optimized for game engines like Unreal and Unity. Try out Meshi AI below, the best AI 3D model generator to turn text or images into import-ready 3D assets to make your videos more awesome. Now get 50% off today with my code MESHIHAV and don't forget to click the link down below. Thanks Meshi AI so much for sponsoring and thank you guys for watching. Now if you want to learn more about Adobe After Effects, click the video right here on my left. Goodbye.